Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. We're here in Detroit at the Ford Pickett Museum. I'm surrounded by all historical Ford vehicles. But not only is that so special, but this morning is the Automotive Press Association breakfast, where we'll hear about Nikola's zero emission future. Not only that, but right here behind me is one of the first electric vehicles. As you can see, the wave of electrification continues to grow. So let's learn about it in this historical setting. Nikola Corporation is a leading designer and manufacturer of heavy-duty commercial battery electric vehicles. And they want to pave the way as a global leader in zero emissions transportation. The biggest reason is I think it's going to change the world. Okay, uh, and I'm not saying that uh, lightly. They've just announced some big news for their future truck that will launch in the second half of this year. So a very exciting milestone for us. And obviously, we, we are very happy to have received the first 100 orders for this very, very innovative and special truck. The company has a business model plan that will enable corporate customers to integrate next generation truck technology, hydrogen fueling infrastructure, and maintenance. Nikola and its strategic business partners are on a mission to leave the world a better place. I come to work thinking I'm producing hydrogen for a truck that's going to change the world. And, and uh, I think when you come to a company that's mission driven like that, it just puts an extra spring in your step every morning. The startup is moving fast with a battery electric class eight truck now on sale with a fuel cell version coming in less than a year. Plus, Plans are in place for a network of hydrogen fuel stations. We bring new technology. We build up a new ecosystem because for the fuel cell truck, you also need to provide the hydrogen. We from the Nikola side do that as well. But of course, bringing all these things together sometimes is not easy. But what's it like to get into? I, I would say it's a bit mind altering. Um, you get in there. I, I came in here. Not, I'm not a truck guy. Um, I came in thinking, OK, this is a truck. What's, how is this going to change my world? got in there and it's unlike anything I'd ever thought a truck would be. Testing it out for myself, I took a spin in the battery powered version. Okay, everyone, I am with Damon Owens and we are in the Nikola Trey truck. Now, Damon, can you give me some three fast facts about this truck? Oh, sure, sure. So this is the Nikola Trey battery electric truck, 733 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, range of up to 330 miles and uh, power it has uh, 645 horsepower. So it's a pretty, pretty amazing beast. Okay, let's get to this ride. Nikola is now under professional management and is seeking funding. The company's cash is being spent in three major areas, building trucks, creating a network of hydrogen fueling stations and developing software for autonomous driving. So why is the time now? Well, because I think diesel trucks have a lot of pollution. We cannot continue like this. The status quo is not an option. The future of mobility has to be and will be without emissions. For more on this story, go to autonews.com and see what our automotive news reporter, Richard Truitt, has to say. I had a great time riding in the Nikola truck. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Autonews TV and online at Autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. And if you want to see a little bit of history, be sure to come to the Ford Piquette Museum. I'm Laura Harris, Automotive News.